These are the chaotic scenes witnessed on Thursday at Bombers of Kenya as supporters of Mike Sonko and those of his opponent Peter Kenneth clashed over the list of the nominees to oversee the Nairobi Jubilee Party primaries. <laughs> the same is orderly reverberating in Muranga and Kirinyaga counties that not only left damages to the party's property but also to the party's image. All damages to property caused by goods brought in by aspirants will be billed to aspirants and they have to pay off before participating in any further party activity. The party headquarters has come out gun blazing and warned any aspirant of dire consequences including disqualification from the nominations if found guilty. Any aspirant found culpable by the party disciplinary committee may face dire consequences including disqualification from the party nomination process. Some of the aspirants whose names might be before the Jubilee Party Disciplinary Committee are that of Nairobi Senator Mike Sonko, Starehe MP Maina Kamanda, Kigumo MP Jamlek Kamau, and Muranga Governor Mwangi Wairia, among others. We have several reported cases. There's Nairobi, there's Muranga, there's Krenyaga, there's Nakuru. The party has further barred aspirants from bringing hooligans in the name of supporters to the party headquarters. It is from now on, from today onwards, forbidden that you bring any of your supporters, hooligans, or anybody who comes to this party headquarters threatening members of staff, making noise, and so forth. But speaking separately, when he attended the church service at PCEA Gidurai, Nairobi gubernatorial aspirant Peter Kenneth absolved himself from the bomber's chaos and instead pointed an accusing finger to Senator Sonko. From tomorrow, we are hitting the road for nominations. We are ready and we are looking forward to the nominations. I think the names for the county board had already been given. Those who want to thrive in chaos, there is also order. In the meantime, Jubilee has called on all aspirants to verify their details starting Monday to give way for printing of ballot papers for the nominations. Samson Kitavi, Channel One, News.